Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. I hope everything is wonderful. I have a list. I have a list here that's two sides of an index card. And what I've learned this week is that I probably watch too much YouTube. Um, I mentioned, I did a video recently about not really watching social media very much, but then I talked about using YouTube pretty much exclusively as for social media. And I mentioned that I watch a whole lot of people, but there's a list of people that I watch their videos religiously. Like if they post a video, I go watch it immediately. And some people asked, they would love to see that list. Like who are the people that I'm really into that I really like to watch? And so I thought, well, I'll curate this list to just creators, just not creators, just makers, just people who make things or yeah, just make things. Um, and so I started to work on that, and then I realized a lot of the people that I thought I would say, a lot of the people whose names you think I'm going to say are not on this list because I don't watch all of their videos. Uh, they make a lot of wonderful videos, but I skip quite a few of them because I'm just not interested. Um, but the people on this list, I have watched every video they've ever made, and I will always watch every video they make because I'm really interested in them as a creator and I'm really interested in the products and the things that they make. Um, so I thought by saying, all right, let me narrow it to only those creators that I religiously watch, that it would be a short list. It is not short. There's um, 20, almost 30 people on this list. There's 28, I think, 20, 27. So this is a big list for us to tear through, but keep in mind, I'm going uh, alphabetically from the top to the bottom. These are creators that when they publish a video, I absolutely watch it, regardless of the content. I will watch every single video they publish. And if, if, if I've even skipped a couple, they're not on this list because I, you know, that's a different list. And maybe we can come up with a list of, of who I think is my favorite YouTubers. I don't know, but here we go. Uh, starting at the top in alphabetical order is Badger Workshop. Badger Workshop is a small channel. He's in England and he's a very super down to earth dude who just has this tiny, tiny little workshop and he makes really interesting things and they're not fantastic and they're not phenomenal and he works with very underpowered tools sometimes, uh, but I just really enjoy the channel and he really, he he's, seems like a really personable guy. Uh, next up is Brett with Jack. Brett, I started following, he was building out a basement workshop uh, years ago, and then his, his channel is very, like, sporadic. He'll put out, I think, maybe five videos last year or something like that. Right now, he's working on a series where he's he's bought a flip house, and he's working to try to fit, flip it. Uh, Chris Salamone, you've probably all heard of Four Eyes Furniture, Chris Salamone. I absolutely watch all of the videos on that channel, and um, I don't have the other guy. Who's the other guy? Whoever joined Chris, I used to watch all of his videos too, so they would be together, but now they're together on the same channel, so um, I watch all of Chris Salamone's. Dustin Penner, a Canadian who just makes really fun videos and really interesting projects. He likes to do a lot of like secret compartment type stuff, um, but he also just kind of has fun in the workshop, and I enjoy that. Um, Epic Upcycling is another UK guy. He makes amazing things out of pallet wood. And when I say amazing, if you go watch, just go watch Epic Upcycling. I mean, he makes like, you know, four post beds out of pallets that just look phenomenal. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful channel. Uh, Jackman Works. I think Jackman is one of the most creative filmmakers in the maker space. Uh, his projects are creative also. He likes to make a lot of oversized tools. But his videography is super creative and really, really fun to watch. Uh, Jimmy Duresta. Uh, Jimmy Duresta is the reason that I'm on YouTube. Like, he's the first person that I watched that I went, I can make videos like that. Because I really feel that he distills a project to the absolute barest minimum. Without voiceover, with just a camera, he can tell a story of a, a project from start to finish very concisely. And it feels like... Anybody could make that. But what I've learned is you can't. It's much harder than you think. Uh, he puts a whole lot of effort into his videos, even though his videos don't look like he puts a whole lot of effort into them. Uh, King Post Timberworks, an Aussie. Uh, he is, he's got a, King Post Timberworks is his furniture company. 
Um, and he has made everything from side tables with hand tools to spiral staircases in large buildings. And I absolutely love watching Joey. He's a really, he also seems like one of those guys that you could just, just sit down and have a wonderful conversation with. And I think that's kind of a thread that runs through this. All of the people on this list are people that I, I can project myself onto. They're just kind of calm, fun people who, who, who are really interested in what they're doing, right? That's, that's who's on this list. Uh, made in Poland. Made in Poland is a welding channel, I would say, like a fabrication channel. Um, the, he, the guy makes everything from wood chippers to bench vices to magnetic drills. I mean, he just makes whatever. And it started off kind of as a way, he started his channel where he was basically making industrial tools that he couldn't afford. Uh, and now he's just finished his workshop and he's building out a really cool little metal shop to make fun stuff. Um, just really entertaining videos of making interesting things. Along that same lines is Make It Extreme, another fabrication channel, and they make just crazy ass projects, you know, unowheel bicycles and tracked motorcycles, and I mean, just absolute bonkers things. And I love their videography. They also are really good at telling a story with just the camera. Uh, make something, David Picciuto. I absolutely love David's on-screen personality. I've been in a huge fan of him uh, since the beginning. Uh, I really, really love everything that he does, and um, I've had some correspondence with him, which is really nice. He's a really, really genuine dude. In fact, long ago on this channel, I did a Q&A with David, and he, uh, he answered a bunch of questions. You could probably go search that up. Uh, the two Matthias's. Matthias Berger is a German. He does videos in both German and English. He publishes two videos at once, one with English um, voiceover and one with German voiceover. He's rebuilt like a, I don't know, 1700s house. Uh, he works on really old machinery that's like on train tracks in his shop so he can move it around. Just a really wonderful, I don't know, just you just have to watch him. Matthias Berger. The other one is Matthias Wandel, which uh, I think everybody knows of Wood Gears. Matthias makes all kinds of crazy projects, and he's um, a former engineer for RIM, uh, which made the BlackBerry, and very interesting to see a person who is a engineer like that approach woodworking. He approaches woodworking with, like, calipers and stuff, but at the same time, he doesn't. At the same time, he'll make stuff just sketch on a piece of wood and cut it and put it on his project and it looks amazing, right? Really, really fun channel. Michael Alm. Michael Alm is, I think I would consider Michael Alm an, Alm an artist before I would consider him a woodworker. He makes his woodworking art and uh, he's, he's a very common, again, approachable person who just makes the process of woodworking feel um, open to anybody and engaging and, and interesting. And he's he also likes to share problems with his woodworking, which I think is um, something I also look for in a lot of these people. They tell you when they screwed up and how they fixed it, and I, th I find that to be really interesting. Uh, Mike Farrington is one of my absolute favorites. Very cool, calm dude who has a, a huge shop, uh, and it's just him, and he does a whole lot of built-ins, um, and he's just, his voiceover is wonderful. He always has cool music suggestions and he has really great tips on how to be a professional woodworker. Like that's what he does. Mr. Chickadee is a kind of a dramatic departure from all of that. Mr. Chickadee is a hand tools only guy who, who dresses in period clothing and builds timber frame houses and timber frame workshops and traditional Japanese or Korean style building and works on hand tools. I mean, he's, he's, it's wonderful. Uh, and it's another channel with no voiceover. It's just telling a story with a camera and it's pretty amazing to watch. Perilla Works. Perilla Works makes um, a lot of things, but I think that the videos that I'm really interested in the most are he makes little projects. He makes small apothecary cabinets. He makes little, um, almost miniature versions of things. He made a miniature workbench. He made a miniature, whatever those lawyers bookshelves are called. Um, and he's got just a really cool demeanor. I like him a lot. Pask makes, I absolutely love Pask. I think he's from Australia also. Um, kind of a, my age or older guy. It seems like he's been in his, in his forties, late forties. Uh, he makes, he does woodworking. He does welding, he does building, I mean, he does everything, and he has just, 
he has a really wonderful approach to all of it. It's all like, I can make that. Why, why don't I figure out how to do that? Um, just super fun. Um, Pocket 83 and Pocket 83 2 is a second channel. Uh, I'll watch everything that he's ever made. Um, Pocket is actually pretty close to me. He's only about maybe an hour's drive for me or maybe an hour and a half or something like that. Um, we never met though, but uh, we have corresponded and talked and I have his button right here. Um, he has a whole, he has a wonderful set of videos about games and projects that are a little bit more thinky. Uh, and his videos are interlaced with kind of his own personal view of, of the world. And I really like his, his approach. Uh, Rainfall Projects is, I will, um, I, could, I could watch his videos all day long. He's a farmer out in the Midwest, uh, has a big farm. And uh, I guess Rainfall Projects are the things that he does when he can't farm. And he does a lot of CNC work, he does a lot of welding, but he also does a lot of woodworking, and he makes really interesting projects, and he makes the videos just seem open and engaging, and love it. The Craftsman. The Craftsman is a mysterious puppet that lives in Mississippi and makes toys, and makes toy videos, and um, injection molding, and craft projects, and the voiceover is just... People have said he is the Bob Ross of crafting, and he might be. Like, his, his videos are so relaxing to watch. I love The Craftsman. This Old Tony is probably, if, if somebody asked me who my favorite YouTuber was, it's This Old Tony. Uh, this Old Tony's channel is just machining, like, straight up machining. I mean, he has some other things, but he's using calipers and in ten thousandths of an inch measurements and talks about how to set up a mill for... He does stuff that I have zero interest in doing. I will never, ever, ever use a mill. I have no interest in it whatsoever, but I love watching him talk about it. I love watching his videos. He explains things that blow my mind when I think about how precise uh, a machinist has to be when it comes to hitting a spec on a drawing. And he walks through that like it's super easy. Like you can do this. Anybody can do this. And his... His, his humor is part of the reason that I keep coming back. He interjects humor into his videos that just, I, I laugh a lot watching him. And I, amazing guy. Uh, Uri Tuckman is a German. Yeah, I think he's originally from, we found out the other day he's originally from um, Israel, I think. Um, he's, he, he's, he's Jewish, wherever, I'm sorry, I'm a terrible person. Uh, but he lives in Germany now, so he has this really interesting accent, and he does a lot of engraving and brass work, and he makes just really interesting sculptures and carvings, uh, and he's very funny. He's a very funny man. Um, yeah. Wesley Treat, I will, I, I will drop what I'm doing to watch Wesley's videos. They're really fun and really exciting, and he makes, like, kind of retro-looking, but modernized things, um, neon signs. I think he's I think he's by trade has a sign shop, but uh, he makes just wonderful projects and his videos are fun. Amazing guy. Uh, Winter Gaton and now Winter Gaton 2, uh, the marble machine. I fell in love with the first marble machine when I first saw the video. I was blown away by it and uh, I've been following ever since and I'm so excited. We're getting so close to the end of this project and I'm going to be, the, the, the truth about it is, the marble machine is only part of the fun for me. I fell in love with the music. I fell in love with um, his his style, his musical style, his his composition. And I'm 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 going to be sad when the marble machine is done and we get to see it finished and playing songs. But at the same time, I'm just as excited to hear the new music because I think his musical style is super amazing. But uh, if that that project has gone from woodworking all the way through to precision machining, and uh, it keeps me coming back every single time. I love it. And the last on the list is Woby Design. Woby is um, a craftsman out of California that makes things out of broken skateboards. So he makes he takes broken skateboards, cleans off the grip tape and the graphics, glues them together so they're just these brightly colorful blocks of wood. He'll turn that into plywood or veneer, or he'll make things just out of the blocks of wood. And uh, he's super, super fun. He seems like he's having a blast doing it. It looks like the most tedious, boring, uh, you know, just the kind of work that nobody wants to do. But he, he looks like he's having a wonderful time doing it. And he makes some really beautiful art. So there you go. That's my list. And I, I, I feel that it's kind of ironic I'm wearing a 
make something shirt and make something didn't make the list. But like I said, these are people that I have not skipped any other videos. I watch all of them. They're all amazing people. So do I watch too much YouTube? Maybe. I guess the difference would be if all of these people put out videos every week, then yeah, probably. Like that would be a lot of videos to watch in one week. But most of them put out videos once a month or every other month or a couple times a month. So, you know, in reality, it's not that much time. And they're all just super inspiring people. Um, if you have uh, thoughts about other people that you don't, you don't skip any of their videos, put them in the comments. Um, I probably am subscribed to them, but I'd like to find, I like to find people. Like, there's a whole segment of Japanese craftsmen that make furniture, and I subscribe to most of them that I've found, and they're all wonderful to watch, but I'm also not like, it, when they come out, I'm like, cool, I'll watch that at some point. So, let me know. Who is your favorite? Who, who do you never skip a video from? Put that in the comments. If you have any comments about these people, let me know. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is ethereal. It is an adjective meaning light and airy, possessing a heavenly or celestial quality. Ethereal, they're mauve, almost transparent gray, their dark veins bruise blue. Denise Leverton, a British-born American poet. Ethereal, E-T-H-E-R-E-A-L. I've been trying to come up with a good name for the ethereal beings in my book that I am possibly rewriting right now.